normal day at Kibera Soweto village, everybody minding their own business. But behind this is a world of fields that's beyond anyone's imagination. Kibera is touted as one of the largest slums in Africa. The United Nations Development Fund estimates the population in this slum to be over 2 million. The slum is divided into nine villages, namely Kianda, Soweto, Kisumundogo, Lindi, Lainisaba, Silanga, Makini and Mashimoni. Warning signs like these are common in Soweto village, but no one seems to take a keen interest on them. Getting from one point to another in this village is a nightmare. We are here to highlight the serious problem of sanitation in the slums. For example, kama ma, unapata maji ya kunywa, kuna pipe hapa zinapita, kama hii umeona hivi, unapata inapitisha maji na haya maji ni ya kunywa na ndio tunatumia. Unapata yamepita katika hii mtu na unaona ni chafu, ndio mafi, ndio takataka, ndio sewage zingine unapata zinakuja kupeleka hii mpaka mtoni uko chini. Unapata kwamba hii for example kumenyesha hiyo maji sasa imechanganyikana na ile tunachota, most ya kuna ile separation hii maji safi na hii ni yenye sio safi. Children play with garbage, oblivious of the health risks they may be exposed to. Sewage waste seeps freely from this roughly constructed toilet into the stream that flows to the Nairobi Dam, once a freshwater body. The stench is unwelcomingly strong. Most of the sewage from the villages that comprise Kibera slums is directed to the Nairobi Dam, which has rendered water in the dam totally unfit for consumption. Hapa shida ile sana so imetukumba kusiana na safi napata kwamba hii ni sewage imepita lakini hakuna akuna, akuna ile sewer line hii ni mto unapata hizi ni choo zimejengwa hapa kwa mto sasa watu wakienda choo hakuna vile huyo choo inakuja ina choto ina, inaenda na mtu inaflow na mtu Having a toilet is something most of us take for granted viewing it as normal and ordinary but for this community in Kibera this is not the case. Kibera ina laki cho mingi, inataka cho ziwe mingi zile ziko enough, then kuna itajika kuwe na siwege ya siwege na niziwe zimetengenezo vizuri na pia au maji. Watu wa maji wajue maji ina pipes zinapitia wapi. Si zinapita kwa mto kama hii na hii mto ya maji safi. Lydia tells us that the four badly constructed iron sheet toilets serve more than 500 families around Soweto village. But a walk to Lindi village shows a different scenario. A youth group has helped change the lives of the people in that village within Kibera by constructing a block of toilets and bathrooms. This, according to Shafi Ahmed, was done through donor funding. Tulianza as a group chama, tukakachini, tuka share some ideas. Ndiyo tukamua kutafta donor, mwenye idea to make a project because what wapa wengi sana struggle mambo ya toilets sasa most of the time kupita pale kama kwa corridor hivi unapata uwezi bambika ndio itakuwa flia flying toilets the project cost about 1.8 million shillings the youth group is now using this project to earn a livelihood kama chot na lipisha shilingi 5 bafu na lipisha 10 shillings but hot water I'll be sure 15 that will provide magia, soaps and everything. At least as I had a customer, I could get to Kapa and Pameri Vika. Lynette Mora lives within Lindy area. She uses this facility. Apa kukuwa na cho, kumejengu wa tujusi. Na venye sasa venya kukuwa na hii, watu walikuwa na teseka sana na kuenda cho. Sasa ingini unapata mali mtu naishi, hakuna cho. Sasa inabidi kama kukojea unakojea ndani ya nyumba halafu chuo unaenda kutafuta mbali sana kwingine. Na hiyo inakuwa tuseme ukifika hapo kwa hiyo chuo unapata ni chafu kabisa. Sasa ndiyo nasema hapa kuna imedumisha usafi juu hapa ni safi kabisa.